Hello, this is Short of Ries, and in this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can embed or uh, import Uperform simulations and use it in Articulate Storyline. As you can see here, our project it consists of a start file and some extra information, but I skip directly and go to our learning path. And our learning path consists of lessons just text like a PowerPoint presentation, could also contain video, knowledge checks with questions, but also exercises. And if I click on the exercises, actually these are created with Uperform and combined with Articulate Storyline. So if I click on it, I just get some explanation in here. And when I click on next, the Uperform simulation is opened. Uh, but the first time it displays the help menu. Uh, this is just a storyline feature where um, this help menu pops up only the first time. And when I click the close object, um, it sets uh, a value. Um, uh, not showing this again, I will show you later in storyline. Um, so whatever simulation or exercise uh, I choose here it just uh, does not show the help menu again um, what I actually did is I added the simulation in my Uperform project I will show you later on how to do it and it just starts the index HTML file from a publication and it has the options to uh, show me how tutorials so let me try tutorials and if you have other op options in your template available then these will be added here as well. Um, so the user actually just have to click on, on the link and it pops up in a new screen. I just display the player and it actually works the same way as with a normal publication. Um, so it just proceeds through, through these uh, two tutorial types and here I have to just do it again double click on the location, installers, etc. How it looks like you can uh, specify that in your Uperform template. Okay, um, after uh, the user did the simulation it finishes uh, the, uh, the project because um, uh, Storyline cannot uh, get information from Uperform in this way. Uh, so it does not know if, if the user did it and uh, by clicking just the finish button it gets a check in here. Uh, some information is checked in the knowledge checks uh, but not uh, if he did the simulation. And actually I don't care about that one. Uh, it's, it's just a, a guide. Um, how we do that? Um, there are specific parts. The first thing is um, if I go to my Articulate Storyline project. Here I have my Storyline file. I created an assets folder and in the assets folder I added all the published uh, versions of, of the simulations, so all the simulations that are used. And um, if I just look at the simulations in here, as you can see here a normal publication consists of a folder with some information and if you publish for SCORM then you also have some supported files which are not needed. So you can uh, delete these files uh, because these are extra and it takes at least this one takes 8 megabyte and it's just double. These are used to import in a learning management system and now I'm only importing this folder. However that can be easier. I will give you some tips after uh, after it in you perform. Okay, but let's first focus on Article Storyline. So you have your folder, so you just uh, check your topic. So this is how it looks like. Storyline does, does assume that there is an index.html file. So if you for some reason want to start with standard.html, which actually displays the simulation, the only trick you have to do, I have to go back, is to remove this index.html or rename it, and then you rename the other file to index.html. That's a simple trick to do that. Um, the next step would be to import this file in Storyline. We just close this one. And I'll open my Storyline project. 
here is my storyline project, pretty big. Um, we have path here with links to all the specific sections. The sections to the exercises are here, just three slides. So it has a start page with the next option. And here actually we have a thing which is called a web object. So if you insert it in storyline, you have the option to insert a web object. Uh, once it is inserted, I just right click on it, select web object and select edit from the menu. And then you can browse for a local file. But actually, instead of in importing a local file, actually I want to import a folder. And in that case, you just go to the top level folder. Let's go here. So this is the top level folder. And you cannot see the files in there because you actually use the web object. And if you use a web object, it extracts a folder. But it, 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 there must be an index.html file in it. So that's the trick. So you just select the folder and that's it. Um, then you can test the link and you have some options to display it in the slide. And when you use the normal index.html file, this is a good choice. If you renamed your standard.html file into index.html file to make that pop up, then it will display here. But if the resolution is not correct, uh, because if you have a bigger resolution than your storyline template, you can also say, well, I want to have it in a in a, in a pop-up, in a, in a new pop-up, and then it's very nice that you can have the option, no browser controls, and just have a custom screen. For example, if your simulation is 1025 by 768, you can test this value. However, I just use the normal index.html file, so I'm, I like this one. Um, that's actually it. Um, the thing I added to it is that I created a lightbox view uh, that is storyline feature. So actually I say, well, just go to the to the help menu for storyline and let it pop up when the timeline starts. So actually it will pop up every time the timeline starts, but I created a parameter here um, on the condition. I created here a condition that if height you perform help is equal to false then it will not pop up again so actually what i did is on the, the help slides i created uh, some specific uh, step where i added this uh, and and this is set to true so only when it's set to false the default then it pops up and when you already uh, viewed it then it's set to true and it's hide you perform help page that's actually it that, that's uh, uh, a nice uh, feature of storyline okay at the end i do the same actually here so i say set complete exercise 05 that's also a value these values are here project project variables so it says the truth and then you get this check mark at the learning path um, that's how we embedded it another option would be uh, because now um just showed to you if I go to my projects very quickly and I go to the folder, to the published version. If I go to the published version, so in Storyline, I just published this one and I can publish for for the web or for the learning management system, it's SCORM, but only it will not, it will, it will now, uh, it will not check and trace uh, what the learner has done. Uh, but it cannot track and trace uh, the things you do in Dupeform. But you can publish it just as a normal project. If you publish it, don't save it now, um, it will create a folder. And as you can see here, this is the normal, uh, the, the normal uh, storyline folder. And the Dupeform is in story content. And as you can see here, you have web objects. So actually it's just imported, importing these web objects here here are the sims um, there's one thing I want to show you some advanced things you can do um, one thing you can do is instead of importing a local folder with uh, the published simulations um, you may also uh, just create a link uh, while you perform starts I just go to the you perform server so here we have the you perform server and for example you want to embed this simulation then you also can copy this URL 
go to the uh, exercise, for example here, and just edit it. And instead of having uh, the folder link, you can also link the, the web, web address in here. So in this case, it will not import uh, the local files, but actually uh, embed it here. So it will be displayed in the same way, almost. Um, but instead of importing all these files, it's just linking to it. So it reduces the new file size of Storyline. So that's one tip. Okay. Um, the other tip I have is actually in, in Uperform itself. Um, so in Uperform, you can do some things in a template first. Just let me quickly open a template. I just open it locally. And when you work with templates and you just want to test something, it's a good thing to go to options and you go to the server tab and you deselect the option to use server. Then it uh, only works locally. And when you just then edit your template, it will not be overwritten by uh, the server, so you can just just test it. Um, okay. For the for the template, what is important is the option here in on the publications. First, you go to um, your simulation here under Manage All Publications. Select if the option Use Default Publication Settings is turned on. Um, if if so, then you have a default publication settings in here and there is the simulation on the simulation tab what you can do is change some things like uh, which mode you want to publish for example you can enable or disable the assessment mode but take note that assessments are not scored in, in, uh, in storyline uh, author playback mode i'll have set it on and um, itself is most on in standard mode i'll have on you can have some options in here as well most important thing is if you want, want to combine this with uh, Storyline, you can select from the list the learning management system settings. And here is an option which is usually are on, create package, then uh, Uperform also creates a SCORM package. Um, but actually if you just deselect it, then you also see that SCORM is deselected, then it does not create this package. And it also does not create the extra zip file and the supporting documents. So this is much easier. So you don't need to uh, to remove these after afterwards. So that's one one uh, yeah one tip. And the other tip is just just a normal one. If you open your uh, let's see which one. Well, actually, it does not matter. Um, if you open just your project. Yeah, you just publish it locally with this with the template. Just click on publish, and you just select what uh, versions you want to have. And if you want to, you can just select your articulate folder, for example the assets folder, or I was in the server installation. Server installation assets, so you can also use that folder and publish it uh, right away. So then, every time you publish to this folder, then it's just updated. And when you publish uh, your storyline project, it will fetch then the files from there, actually the folders from there. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for uh, watching.